All right, this is uh, Kevin DeClaren. I am at the Pioneer Square Park. Make sure that uh, you got me here. It is uh, Wednesday, the middle of the week, uh, the 24th of June, 2015. And about one o'clock earlier, it's right now three o'clock, about one o'clock earlier, I came out here and I preached a message on, um, you know, make your choice, um, a life in Christ or a life without Christ. And basically what I used was, um, I used two things. I used a, a, a new, this, this, art, this newspaper here, I used an article out of it. And, um, and the question that I have asked, I'll just find it here. article here. Oh, there it is. This is the uh, cover of the book that I used right here. This is what I usually use. Um, and um, in comparison to this, this is the article from, um, this is the article of Naked Bikers from I'm not sure what the newspaper is, but I think it's a it's a Portland newspaper, it's sort of like a weekly newspaper. And basically, I have um, given the American people a choice between living in Christ and living not in Christ. And uh, I want to read you something here real quick. Um, basically, I preached from this angle here and all over the park. Down there, there were the people. Um, one of, uh, one of the security guards had come up and spoken to me about um, the fact that um, if the people can hear me a hundred yards away, um, if the people can hear me a hundred yards away, then basically I am um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm considered amplification if they can hear me a hundred yards away. Um, and basically what I told them in, in terms of a defense is that... Uh, According to the Constitution, the freedom of, I am practicing the freedom of religion, uh, the freedom of speech, and um, and so I wasn't going to preach for a long time, he, um, so he basically just gave me a warning. Um, and this is a summary of what I had said, I talked about Washington, Lincoln, Obama, uh, did they have a life in Christ? That was the beginning of it. Basically, it means renouncing sin. Um, sin being murder, rape, stealing, fornication, um, incest, adultery, um, that sort of thing. Explaining what sin is. Uh, people uh, bring these. Um, people bring their their own sin, their their own sex. Uh, their own sex slaves in America and um, and I asked if the presidency would you know like Clinton and his wife Bush and his wife Obama and his wife um, appear um, like this in public you know if the presidency uh, would appear like this in public because this is what is uh, under their presidency today this is how um, how Americans are living right um, and uh, this mindset is in the church. Uh, it's everywhere. People cannot live. Uh, people cannot live in Christ. Right? People can't live in Christ. But people can't live in Christ. But yet they're living like this, right? So we can't live under Christ, and we can't live for Christ. But here's how Americans are living today. Um, you know, a certain a certain liberality that just says you could do anything you want. But yet, to practice Christianity is, is, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a sin in itself. Um, and basically, this mentality is in the church. It's everywhere. People cannot live in Christ. Some, some become Christians um, and are required to live in sin. People, there are people who are Christians and they're still required to live like this. Rather, um, I don't know if the camera's picking this up. It's kind of hard to see with the, you know. 
people are, are, are being asked to live this way, even though they're 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 living in Christ, right? Um, and what I did was I asked them, well, let's cross out my name here and put the names of you know George George Washington. Um, cross out my name here, for George Washington, um, Lincoln, um, who gave us the thirteenth uh, the thirteenth amendment, the freedom of slavery, um, and Obama, who just recently became the president, right? And I asked, well, are they living in, you know, did they ever live in Christ? And is the presidency today um, living in Christ? And most likely he's not, or else he wouldn't be the president of the United States. Um, I mean, on paper, it looks good, but the reality of it is, I mean, to go to war and kill all those people, and the word of God teaches, thou shalt not kill, you know, let's go to war with Afghanistan, a continuation of, uh, I'm going off tangent here, but anyway, um, I also said to them, it's either you go to these people, this community, you go to them, um, or they come to you. You know, it's either you go to them and sin, or they come to you and sin. You know, do you know how many times, and I said to them, do you know how many times I've been summoned to go to Taboo? Um, this is not fair that it's, um, you know, that's, that, that international should be subjected to this community. It's not okay um, for Christians to live in Christ, but it's okay for Americans to expose their genitals openly to the public. Um, I think some liberties go too far, right? Some liberties go too far, and I'm talking about this right here, and not just that right there. I don't have a problem with the people here, but it's the community that I don't have a problem with the people here. Um, it's the it's it's the community that ex, ex, expresses its li liberality to do whatever they want, and then call others to that same standard. And when you don't um, openly um, go to that ex, ex, uh, extent, then, you know, you're punished, judged, or excluded, or they start judging you both in the church and outside of the church. Um, so some liberties just go too far. Um, you know, we should show respect to God, or where is the respect uh, to God? You know, what is next? Open sex out in the public, right? You know, and basically what I said to the people is make your choice. You will either live in Christ or live without Christ. Those in Christ will go to heaven. Those in Christ, um, those who, who are not in Christ will suffer in hell. You know, make your, your choice. Jesus said in the Gospel of Matthew, you are either with me or against me, right? Um, you know, we, we, we go to marital counseling and, um, and, um, and we raise our children, you know, we, we try to raise our children right, but then this is what they become, right? All that marital counseling and all of that uh, children raising, and then this is what they become in the future, right? This is this is this is this is us in modern day America, right? So this is there's something not right here. Um, am I specifically against these people? No, but it's the community that puts them in the position where um, they exercise that kind of liberty, and then in the end, it, it hits the church and it hits the internationals, right? The church have to leave. Um, the, the fellowship of the saints to come out into the world and do what and, and live the same way I mean you know or they they have to leave the, the the ministries because people like that are in the church and they come all dressed up on Sunday morning and you don't even realize that's who and what you're dealing with and so the reality of it is you know these people have make your decisions I mean if if the American people want to live this way you know according to to what you see here you know, it's either you choose one or the other it's either you because the Spirit of Christ doesn't lead you to take it off, right? The Spirit of Christ don't lead you to to take it off. The Spirit of Christ leads you to put it on. And so it's one, it's one or the other, right? So that's basically what I preached to them for about 10, 15 minutes. And then after that, I left. So. Now for me to try to turn this off here.